Hello everyone. Today we're going to delve into the fascinating world of computer programming and software engineering. Computers are incredibly versatile tools that can be programmed to perform a wide variety of functions. This versatility is largely due to the work of computer programmers who implement these programs. At its core, a computer program is a set of instructions that a computer follows to perform a specific task. A programming language is a special language used to write these instructions, collectively forming an algorithm. And an algorithm is a set of well-defined steps for completing a task, performed sequentially. When designing a program, several aspects must be carefully crafted. The logical flow of instructions, any mathematical procedures, the layout of programming statements, the appearance on the screen, information presentation to the user, user friendliness, manuals, help systems, and other forms of documentation. Programmers need to be analytically correct and rarely work perfectly the first time. Programmers continually analyze, experiment, experiment, correct, and redesign their code. This iterative process ensures the program functions correctly and efficiently. Programming languages have very strict rules known as syntax that must be followed. And here's a quick overview of the common elements in most programming languages. Keywords, these are reserved words that have special meanings. Operators, these are symbols that perform operations on variables and values. Punctuation, these are characters that separate statements and other elements. Programmer-defined identifiers, these are names given to variables, functions, and etc. Strict syntactic rules, this is the grammatical structure of the programming language. The process of programming involves several steps. One, clearly define what the program is to do. Two, visualize the program running on the computer. Three, use design tools to create a model of the program. Four, check the model for logical errors. Five, enter the code and compile it. Six, correct any errors found during uh, compilation. And then you repeat steps five and six as needed. Seven, run the program with test data for input. Eight, correct any runtime errors found while running the program. And then repeat steps five through eight as needed. Nine, validate your results of the program. Software engineering encompasses the entire process of crafting computer software including designing, writing, testing, debugging, documenting, modifying, and maintaining the software. Software engineers, software engineers develop program specifications, diagrams of screen output, diagrams representing program components and data flow, pseudocode, and examples of expected input and desired outputs. Special software is often used for testing programs. And most commercial software applications are large and complex, typically developed by teams rather than individuals. Procedural programming is one of the older, older paradigms. A procedure is a set of statements that together perform a specific task. In procedural programming, Data items are commonly passed from one procedure to another. Procedures operate on the data's program, which tends to be global to the entire program. Changes in data formats require corresponding changes in the procedure.
much differently. Object-oriented programming, or OOP, focuses on creating objects rather than procedures. Objects meld data and procedures that manipulate the data. In OOP, attributes, which are data in an object, we have methods, which are procedures in an object, Encapsulation, which combines the data and behavior in one entity. entity. Uh, data hiding, which objects hide their data from other objects. And program interface, programming interface, methods that allow indirect access to objects' attributes. OOP helps manage complexity by keeping data and behavior bundled together, which promotes better organization and modularity. So here's a shot of espresso to wake you up to why we need programming languages, such as Java. I think we need another shot of espresso. Bon appetit.